Hello boys and girls, we are starting our integers unit, uh, which is unit six. And today's lesson is integers and absolute value, and this is lesson two one from our textbook. And our learning targets that we need to write down are, I can use integers to describe situations, and I can determine the absolute value of a number or expression. All right, some questions here that we should think about. How do we differentiate between what we have and do not have for money? How do you describe your location when scuba diving or mountain climbing? So how can we describe the two differences? And how do you know who is ahead in the sport of golf? And think about what do all of these examples have in common in terms of math and numbers? Okay, Just think about those questions as we're going throughout this lesson. Vocab words that we need to know are integers. Integer is any number from the set negative um, 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, oops, 3, and so on in both directions. Okay. So any of those numbers are positives and negative numbers. Okay, so now what are our positive numbers? These are integers that are greater than zero. Okay, so these are going to be one, two, three, four, and so on. Now, all of these, since they're positive, they can be written with a positive sign, but they don't have to be. Okay, and negative numbers, these are, um, or sorry, negative, num yep, negative numbers are integers that are less than zero and they are written with a minus sign in front of them. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. Okay, And that's what this diagram here is showing. All right, here we have some different situations, and we want to write an integer for the situation. So an average temperature of 5 degrees below normal. Okay. Well, this word below tells us that we are negative, and we're at 5, so our integer would be negative 5. Next one, an average rainfall of 5 inches above normal. So I see the word above, and again 5. So now this time, 5, or you could write it with the positive sign in front of it. Okay, a couple here for you to try. 6 degrees above normal. Well, above, again, tells us positive, so it would be 6 or positive 6. 2 inches below normal. Below tells us negative, so negative 2. All right, here we are graphing integers on a number line. So we're going to graph this set of integers, 4, negative 6, and 0, on a number line. Okay, so we draw a number line. Um, this one ranges from negative 10 to positive 10. And we look for these numbers on the number line. Well, I see 4s here, so that's why we have our dot. Negative 6, we're below 0. And then 0 is at the 0 spot. Okay. Now, next one we're going to try. First, I'm going to draw my number line. Okay, you can try these on your own and come back and check. But we're ranging, we need to graph negative 2, 8, and negative 7. So I'm going to put my 0, and then I'm going to count by 2s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then going the other way, negative 1, negative 2. So now we're kind of going to uh, the negative side. 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7 negative 8. Okay, now we are going to um, plot these points. So negative 2 is right here. 8, we're at the positive, so we're at the right side of 0. And negative 7 is to the left, so we count between negative 6 and negative 7. Okay, notice that this to the left is negative. And to the right is our positive numbers. Okay. 
I'm going to extend my number line a little bit here. 9, 10, negative 9, negative 10. I'm going to do this next set here on the same number line since I don't have any room to draw it, but you could draw a new number line. Okay, so these points will be in blue. So we're looking for negative 4, which is to the left. So we start at 0, count to left 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Drop my point. Now 10, positive 10 is to the right, so we count all the way up to 10 and drop our point. Negative 3, again negatives are to the left, so we count negative 1, 2, 3, and there's our point there. And last one is 7, so we count positive 7, so to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and there is our point. So that is how, that is how we graph integers on a number line. Next thing here is absolute value. We have a vocab word here that we should write down. Absolute value is the distance between the number and zero on a number line. So for example here, the absolute value of negative 5, well if we start at zero and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units between negative 5 and 0, so therefore the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Our next one, the absolute value of 5, well we count the distance from 0 to the number, which is 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so our absolute value is 5. An example here, negative 4, if we looked at a number line and we counted how many spots negative 4 is from 0, we would know it is 4 spots away. So the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Okay. Um, something here to note. Let me zoom in on it. Okay. Order of operations. The absolute value bars are considered to be a grouping symbol, okay, which goes along with like our parentheses. When evaluating the absolute value of negative 5 minus the absolute, absolute value of 2, evaluate the absolute values before subtracting. So let's try this one. Absolute value of negative 5. Negative 5 is 5 spots away from 0. And the absolute value of 2, well, 2 is 2 spots away from 0. We, now we do our subtraction. 5 minus 2 is 3, and that is our answer. Okay, here are some for you to try and then come back and check after. The absolute value of 8, well, how many spots away from um, 0 is 8? We could use our number line. Here's 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, to get there, it is 8 spots away, so therefore the absolute value of 8 is 8. Next one. Now we're doing order of operations, so we have to do the absolute value first. 2 plus the absolute value of negative 3. Um, so 2 plus. We find the absolute value of negative 3. Well, negative 3 is 3 spots away from 0, so 2 plus 3 is 5. Next one, absolute value of negative 6 minus 5. First, find the absolute value. Negative 6 is 6 spots away from 0 minus 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. Alright, you can go ahead and um, rewatch this video if you're still a little stuck. Um, you can look in your book at the examples, you can look at the tutor videos in the online textbook. Otherwise, go ahead and take the 2-1 uh, Naiku quiz at this time.